Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, this is going to be my fragrance review for Aqualina's Pink Sugar. And as you can see, this is the Pink Sugar gift box that I got from Kohl's. So the box is really cute. Um, I probably will keep the box and keep the stuff still in it because I have other fragrances that I need to get through so I can make room on my shelves. But the box is really pretty. Okay. Now... What we have in here, as you guys can see, we have the the perfume here, we have the shower gel right there, and we have the um, lotion. So this perfume is a, let's see if you can see it here, it is a 1.7 ounce, and then this is what I've used this week, having used a whole lot of it. But some. Still pretty good, I think. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry, I've got I'm trying to focus it in a little bit more, guys. So yeah. So that's what the pink sugar fragrance is. I'm gonna put this back in the box here so I can give you guys I can do the description on it. I'll put it like this so you can see it. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Hopefully that's coming in um, focused, I hope. There we go. Okay. So, the fragrance notes in this include top notes of orange, fig leaf, raspberry, and bergamot. Mid notes include res, red berries, lily of the valley, licorice, cotton candy, and strawberry. And the base notes include uh, musk, vanilla, caramel, talcum bean, and sandalwood. So this fragrance is very pretty. It's a really good gourmand fragrance. It does have the cotton candy note, which is very easy to detect in this fragrance. Um, a little of this goes a long ways, so you don't have to sit there and lather in it, and you'll be able to smell it. Um, the best seasons to wear this fragrance. This fragrance is very versatile. I think you could get away with this easy all four seasons. Fall, winter, spring, summer. Sorry about my cat, Demon. He has to make his appearance. Um, but yeah, I think this is a very versatile fragrance and you could get away with it for all four seasons. Fragrance lasts me hours. On my skin, this lasts about four to five hours before reapplication. Demon, would you get out of the... Get out of the screen! Move your tail. <laughs> All right. So four to five hours before you have to reapply. Uh, the projection's pretty good. It's um, moderate, so you don't have to you don't have to go ham on it, and you'll be able to smell it um, from a distance. It's not like one that's gonna be overpowering. At least not in my case. I'm not finding it overpowering. Um, you can be in a comfortable distance with a person, and they will smell it on you. I've gotten a couple compliments this week wearing it. Um, so yeah, it's a really good fragrance, and if you guys are interested in a, a perfect dupe, in my opinion, of this fragrance, you could get the Sweet Angel by, it's either Preferred Fragrance or Diamond Collection. This is what it looks like, and so if you want the pink sugar scent, but you don't want to spend the money, I know these aren't that expensive, but if you don't want to pay the pink sugar price, I would seriously suggest get yourself the Sweet Angel dupe. Hold on, let's see. The Sweet Angel Dupe by Preferred Fragrance or Diamond Collection. And you'll get the exact scent that Pink Sugar has. Um, also, in my opinion, as far as when to wear this fragrance, this fragrance is, again, very versatile. I think you could wear it in the daytime or the evening. Um, it's got that sweet fragrance, and it does last pretty well, so you could get away with it for the evening. It would be a nice date night fragrance. So, yeah. That is my review for Pink Sugar by Aqualina. All right, guys, I'm going to come back and we're going to go get into next week's fragrance. We're going to pick that out in just a second. I'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm filming in my bedroom because I didn't feel like uh, filming downstairs. That's why you're seeing the bottom of a door and the book thing or and the um, little tote. So let's go ahead and get into 
Next week's fragrance. Let me see if I can get comfortable here. Okay. What do you guys think of my nails? Hopefully you guys can see them. I felt like doing a red polish because um, I saw something on Facebook saying that a red polish would be really pretty. So I did a red polish look this time. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see me and you're not seeing strange parts of me. <laughs> okay. All the, all the little cards in the box, you guys can see that. Okay. filming here okay all right okay I'm gonna go ahead and dig my hand in and whatever I pull out that's what will be next week's fragrance review there's a lot in here so I'm just digging around a little bit all right guys so the next card I pull out will be next week's fragrance review now I'm digging through cards here okay ready one two three and pull here we go okay so this is next week's fragrance review and it's going to be on bath and body works sun ripen raspberry so this will be the review that i do next week on the sun ripen raspberry fragrance hold on oh focus please there we go sun ripen raspberry from bath and body works all right guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next week with my Sun Ripe and Raspberry um, from Bath and Body Works fragrance review. And as always, please, uh, and as always, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe, and never settle for second best. You all deserve to be number one. I love you all. I'll see you next week. Bye.